Health Tips is brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital and Arnott Health. Good morning and welcome to Health Tips, our monthly wellness information program. I'm your host, Dennis Sweeney. Staying connected or receiving updates about a hospitalized patient can be very stressful for family members and friends. A CaringBridge website may be the communication tool that can help reduce that stress. Joining me today to talk about how a CaringBridge website can simplify communication as well as provide love and support to the patient is Sana Maring, the founder and executive director of CaringBridge. Welcome to the program, Sana. Good morning, Dennis. Sana, what is CaringBridge and why did it get started? CaringBridge is a nonprofit that provides free online service that connects patients and their families to their loved ones when they're going through a significant health journey. Sana, does a person have to be a website programmer to set up a CaringBridge website? Absolutely not. CaringBridge has been around for 14 years, and one thing we know how to do is make it very easy to use. You just go online at caringbridge.org, and you can have a website created in less than five minutes. In today's world of privacy, identity theft, and internet security, are CaringBridge websites safe and private? Well, CaringBridge takes, I think, a unique approach to privacy with our service. Like I mentioned, we've been around for 14 years. As a nonprofit, we really treat it as a very sacred space. We keep it free from commercials or banner ads, and we believe that the people that are running the website need to provide the privacy levels they want. So we make it very easy for people to choose the different privacies that they want. Now, what feedback have you received from the thousands and thousands of people in this 14 years that you've been in right. existence who have utilized a Caring Bridge website? Well, I think that's why we've been around for 14 years, is every day we hear what a difference CaringBridge makes while a family's going through a health journey. Many people say it is the most important thing they've had as they've been going through cancer treatment, premature birth, um, a heart surgery, keeping together their friends and families, letting people know what's going on, and really connecting those hearts behind the keyboard keeps CaringBridge very important. Finally, what's the easiest way to establish a CaringBridge website for a loved one or friend? Well, as I mentioned, you just go to caringbridge.org, click on Create a Website, and you can literally have a website in just a few minutes. Another thing you can do is you can create a website for someone else. Click on Create a Website. It will ask you if you're creating it for someone else, and you can give it as a gift. If you know someone in your family, someone at work, someone in your church, someone you know that maybe is struggling with keeping people up to date or needs love and support, they could just go to CaringBridge.org and click on Create. Thank you very much, Sana. I'm Dennis Sweeney. Please be sure to join us again next month at the same time for our next edition of Health Tips. Until then, have a happy and healthy month. Health Tips is brought to you by St. Joseph's Hospital and Arnott Health.